Hello there, folks. Welcome to Section 3 of our Facebook Remarketing 3.0 video training series. In this section, we are going to walk you through proven, advanced-level Facebook remarketing strategies that will leave your competition out of the game. Here's a summary of the content in the section to give you an idea of what you'll be learning next. Remarketing to your existing customers. Remarketing to app users. Remarketing to engagement audiences. Remarketing to users who never open your emails. Using content series to remarket to hard-to-get leads. Additional Facebook remarketing tips and tricks. So get on your marks, because we are going to get started now. Remarketing to your existing customers. All right, folks, let's create a remarketing campaign that you can use to reach your existing customers. Start on the Facebook Ads Manager dashboard and click on the Tools Hamburger menu icon in the top left corner. Now click on the Audiences shortcut link in the Assets section of the Tools menu to go to the Audiences page. Now click on the Create Audience drop-down menu and then click on the Custom Audience option. Now select the Customer File option. This option will allow you to use a customer file to match your existing customers that are registered on Facebook and to create a custom audience from the matches for remarketing. You will be given three options to create a custom audience from a customer file. First, you will have the option to add customers from your own file or copy and paste data, to import from MailChimp, or to add a customer file with lifetime value. To create a remarketing campaign to reach your existing customers, you will need to use your own customer file. So click on the Add Customers from Your Own File or Copy and Paste Data option. First, you will be asked to add a customer list. To do this, you can either add a new file or copy and paste the customer data. In this video, we are going to show you how to upload a customer data file to create your customer file audience. When selecting this option, we recommend you to use the Download File Template button. To open the file template after downloads, and then to edit the data on the template according to your own customer data. In our case, you can see how we are going to add a single test customer for this custom audience. We start by clearing all the placeholder data in the template that we are not going to edit over. Now, we are only going to use five pieces of customer data for our customer file. Our customer's email, first and last names, country of residence, and gender. So we clear all the attributes that we are not going to use. We then edit the placeholder information to enter our own, and then save. Once saved, you can click on the Upload File button to upload your saved file from your computer. Once uploaded, simply click on Next. Now make sure that the correct data is marked green. Then click on Upload and Create. Wait for your file to load and click on Done. Awesome! Now your customer file audience is saved. Let's now show you how to create the remarketing campaign to reach these existing customers. Start by clicking on the Create Ad button located in the left-hand corner. Now select your remarketing objective on the campaign page. For this example, we are going to select the Conversions objective to retarget our existing customer file audience. Once you have selected your objective, you'll simply have to scroll down and name your new remarketing campaign in the Campaign Name field, and then to click on the Conversion shortcut under the Ad Set section in the left-hand menu. Start by naming your new Ad Set in the Ad Set Name field. Now in the Conversion section, select the Website option and click on the Please Select a Conversion Event box to select the conversion event that you want to optimize your remarketing campaign for. Now select whether to activate or not activate an offer on your ad set in the Offer section and move to the Audience section. Click on the Add Custom Audiences or Lookalike Audiences box and on the Create New tab, select your Customer File Audience from the list. Now. You won't need to adjust additional audience targeting options in the audience section in cases where you are using an existing customer file audience because your audience is already very precisely targeted and your remarketing campaign will only target people in your customer file that are also registered on Facebook or they can be reached on the audience network. In light of that, you'll simply have to proceed by scrolling down to the placement section. Because your target audience is pretty much defined already, a recommendation is to select the Automatic Placements option in order to reach people in your customer file wherever possible. Now, in the Budget and Schedule section, you should set a daily budget of $5 up to $30. And to select the Run My Ad Set Continuously Starting Today option in the Schedule section. To run your ad continuously for 14 straight days under your watch, so you can optimize your marketing campaigns right after according to your results. Once done here, simply click on Continue. 
Now, you will have to edit your ad creative. Enter your ad name in the ad name box and select your Facebook page in the identity section. Now in the format section, you will have to select the format of your ad. For this example campaign, we are not going to select an image for our ad because we are going to allow Facebook to pull a specific image from our landing page. So we scroll down past the images section. Remember that once in the link section, you will have to insert your URLs, your ad copy, your headline, your ad text, and your calls to action. Starting in the website URL field, enter the specific page where you want your retargeted leads to convert. In our case, we are going to enter the URL of a page where we reviewed an affiliate product in order to get our retargeted leads to convert by following the affiliate links in our review. This is an effective strategy because they are already familiar with our content and affiliate offers. Once again, we are going to use a headline field to enter the name of our business, which will help our retargeted leads to recall our brand. Then in the text field, you have to enter copy that is descriptive of the contents of your landing page. In the call to action menu, you can select the call to action that best fits your offer or destination content. In our case, we are going to select the learn more call to action. Finally, in the news feed link description, you can add a brief line of copy with niche keywords that can trigger an emotional response from your leads. We recommend you to check the ad preview button on the right hand side to see how your new remarketing ad will look on your target placements. Finally, remember to click on the confirm button and wait for your remarketing ad to be approved. You will get your existing customers coming back on a more regular basis to your site this way.